What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 12 of New This Week. This week, everything should be on time and everything. Sorry about the computer issues and everything last week, but I just want to hop on into this because we actually do have a few new things to talk about. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start with Quedeca's new album, From Me to You, because I made a video on this. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. And I said I'd give uh, just a little bit more detailed thoughts about the songs on the project. But if you want to hear like what I thought, if it was worth the wait or not, just make sure to check that video out. But diving into the track list of For Me To You more, my favorite song from it is Sisyphus. I said that in the other video. I think it has the best structure to it, and it stands out against every other track. My second favorite would probably just be Alone Together. I wasn't a huge fan of this album, and I kind of talked about that a little bit on the other video. I just said how experimental it was, and I respect that, but it doesn't mean that it always works for some people, and at least for me, at, at the moment, it wasn't what I was wanting from Kodeka, but it's definitely its own thing, and it'll stand out in the future. But moving on to Dro Kenji, he released Superstar. This is uh, the single for his next album, F Your Feelings, I'm pretty sure at least. And yeah, I mean, this is just another basic Dro song. There's really not much to say at this point, because they've just been releasing so much music, and they're all just like basically under two minute songs with a chorus, a verse, and a chorus. I mean, I'm a fan of Drone. I like the music. I like this song, but there's just not really much to talk about because uh, Drone just is it. They're not like having him do anything really different or unique. It's just kind of what's like mainstream or popular right now, which there's nothing wrong with that. They did that with Ian and it ended up paying off later down the line, like a year, a year and a half after they signed him. So hopefully the same happens with Dro. And yeah, I mean, I want to see him succeed. And I think it, I just think it was a good song. But moving on to Lil TJ's album, Destined to Win. Uh, now, TJ is definitely not my type of artist. I enjoyed a few songs from him like hold on but other than that lately especially uh just i'm not a fan of what he's been putting out i'm a fan of like only the team with mosey and tj but uh and then i know he had the big song call on my phone it was i mean it was all right it was just another big mainstream song that uh, basically for that reason if it's super big i either just don't end up liking it or i don't listen to it a lot because you hear it all the time anyway so it kind of ruins the song but uh yeah, TJ's album is nothing for me at all. I listened to uh, almost all the tracks on this besides like the last two, and I'm pretty sure the last three songs were just singles released prior. I could be wrong with that, but the album did nothing for me, and I could tell right off the bat that um, while the album, I, I mean, I could see people considering it good or great if this is your type of music, but for me, there was nothing on there for me. I, I just, I don't like how there's like all the same beats and the same sounds, at least to me. There was a couple songs that I appreciated when TJ would uh, switch some stuff up on. I remember uh, off the top of my head, Run It Up and Go Crazy. Uh, I remember those songs specifically uh, standing out to me more. But yeah, other than that, there was not much on this album for me. I think the best songs were the singles released prior. I'm a big fan of Headshot and... Uh, like I said, Call My Phone's alright, but in my opinion, the best tracks on this album were just released uh, before it even dropped. Alright, moving on to Lil Skies and Lil Nar. They released a new song, Not The Same. Uh, this song just sounds like an older like SoundCloud type song to me, which I think is what helps the song stand out, especially nowadays. Uh, I mean, I guess a lot of people you could probably say that for sound like a SoundCloud rapper, but this song really brings those vibes, and especially with the Skies verse on there, it really just makes you kind of think about the old SoundCloud days, but other than that, this track doesn't really stand out too much to me. Not bad, but not amazing. And then we have 42 Doug and Roddy. Surprisingly, this is probably one of my favorite things to drop this week. Uh, I've never really listened to 42 Doug before this, and uh, I think I've talked about being a big fan of Roddy Rich. I know I have on the main channel, and hopefully Roddy will drop something that I'm a fan of and I can give a really great uh, reaction or review to. But at the moment, that's what this song is for the gain. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the song, the energy with it. Uh, it just it stands out to me. It's like a feel good song, and I really enjoy it. And now moving on to I think now this is the first time I've listened to him. I think his name is either Josiah or Josiah. Sorry if I said that wrong, but I know he dropped like an EP or a project called like War, and 
Uh, I've seen him like that he has the chance to be like the number 10th spot on the double XL freshman stuff. But other than that, I've never given him a listen until now. And uh, he's definitely not what I expected. He has some kind of X like similarities to me and just in the way that his music is like put together and how it's like a scream or yell type rap. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I'm also not the biggest hater of it. I definitely have my few songs of like yelling that I do enjoy, but other than that, it's not anything that like I'm going out of my way actively looking for something new. And this album or project kind of just laid that structure for me. I don't know if there's really going to be much that he puts out, or at least not on the new project. I only listen to the new project. Uh, there's not really much that stood out to me. Uh, I did actually enjoy, though, the Holidays verse on in and out so I do want to say that. That song, actually, honestly, that whole song was really good, so I want to say that uh, it's not like this EP has any songs that aren't good on it, and I'm not even saying that the songs are bad on it. It's just not my type of music, but we have one last rapper to talk about this week, and it is Bernard Jabs with his release of Rebirth. This is a change. I think the song name not only... Uh, fits the song itself well but kind of Bernard Jabs' career because he's been going down a whole new lane and he's been releasing really good music and I've been telling you guys uh every time he drops and I've hopefully you guys have been checking it out because he's really dropping good stuff lately I know he's had a weird past in the music industry with the whole internet money situation and stuff and he might a lot of people think he missed his chance to blow up but I don't think that and uh, I would just say go listen to this song. Go listen to the, some of the like stuff he's been releasing lately. It's good music. And yeah, the, the song Rebirth fits well. It's like a punk rock. It changes it up from Bernard Jabs' classic rap style. And it works out better on this song than I've ever heard Bernard Jabs' music before. So just check this song out, guys. And I also want to start adding something at the end of all these episodes. I'm going to give my favorite drop of the week. And I think you guys should already know this, but it's going to Bernard Jabs. I really want everyone to go listen to the song and check it out because it's really different. And it fits Bernard Jabs well. And I hope he continues to go down this lane. But either way, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.